Uh, this podcast is going to cover how we can move files around uh, using our terminal environment uh, between our, our local system and our remote system. Uh, something people have had a lot of trouble with, so uh, hopefully we can get this straightened out once and for all. I generally use Secure Copy, SCP. That is the uh, part of the SSH suite. It uses the SSH subsystem to copy the files. Uh, basically, the syntax for this is SCP source file destination file. So whatever you want to copy it and where you want to copy it to, right? One of these will be local and one of these will be remote. So if you want to copy a file up to the system, say you have the file locally, right? I have a file here called file one. I'm going to copy up to the system. I'm going to SCP the source file, file one, and then I need to put the destination where I want to put it. And the format for that is you need to put the username you want to copy it to. So I'm going to copy it to my RBE1111 user, at sign, and the name of the system you want to copy it to. This name can also be uh, an IP address if you don't have the name. So later on, you may be using the IP address to copy it up. And then you want to put a colon, right? Uh, this is very important. If you don't put the colon, check this out. You don't put the colon, you run the command, hey, it worked. I copied the file. But what you don't know is without the colon, it just copied the file locally, so now I have a copy of the file locally called this nonsense, which is clearly not the intent of what I was trying to do. So now I will run the command again with the colon. Hey, it says it copied it. It gives you a percentage. If it's a big file, it tells you how much longer it is. And now if I log in up to my other user at the remote system, I have file one up here, right? So my file one was copied up. Say I have a file on the remote system. I'll make another file. Uh, CO copy. Copy. Right. Copy. This is file two. Right. Say I have a file up here. Um, if you have a file on the remote system that you want to copy down, you know, you might be tempted to say, oh, hey, I know how to do that. See my IP address is. I know how to do that. I my IP address is what is my IP address? Uh, 99.209. I know how to do that. I can do SCP file two. I want to copy it to Rich at 172.16.99.208. I don't know what the IP address was. Is this going to work? To copy it from the remote system to the local system? <clears throat> no, this is not going to work. This is a private IP address, uh, which you cannot connect to from the outside. So if you wanted to make this work, you'd have to do a lot of uh, stuff on your router. You'd have to do like a, a network address translation, port address translation to send the packets to your local system. Not a good idea. So if you have a file on the remote system you want to uh, get down, we will, we will use a similar SCP command, but now instead of using a local source, we'll have a remote source. So in this case, our remote source will be the username at hostname. This is where we want to get the file from. You put a colon again, and then you put the file name, file2. And then you put the destination location. So I want to copy it into the local directory. So I'll just put a dot, because dot means the, the current directory. I'll run this command. It'll log in. And now if we look, I have a file2. So... Uh, to copy a file up to the remote system, this is the syntax, SCP local file, uh, username at system name colon, to copy it down from the, from the remote system, SCP uh, username at remote system colon file name dot. If you want to put the file somewhere else or name it something different, you can uh, specify that here. You could put, you know, I want to put this in the SSH directory. And I want to call it rich. No, I'll call it file three for fun. All right. So now I copied file one up to the remote system and I called it file three in the SSH directory. So let's see if that happened. Hey, check that out. It copied up there like I said it did. You know, same thing locally, copying from the remote system to the local system. If you want to call it something different, you can say, oh, I want to call this dot slash file four. All right. Now, if you look locally, I have file four. So you can rename files while copying them if you want. Uh, the next thing I'll show you, if you uh, hate commands, which you should probably get over that right now if you hate commands, but uh, you can use SFTP, 
which is a uh, FTP-like um, interface for using a secure copy to move files. I never use this, so I might screw this command up the first time. I don't know if you have to specify a username or not. Yeah, it tried to log me in as rich, so I need to specify a username. Oh, yeah, see, it's trying to log me in as rich because it uses my, my uh, existing username. So I want to do sftp uh, rve1234 at cntserve.hack.edu. And there I'm connected. So now I can do things like put file one. And that put it up there. I can do get file four. And that will, oh, there's no file four. Get file, uh, uh, get file two. There, I got file two. Uh, I guess you can, I don't know. I don't use this interface. Uh, you can use this interface if you want, but that's about the extent of uh, how I'm going to tell you how to use the interface. And that will be the, the way you can move files around uh, between the remote system and the local system.